Hello, so in this video I will be throwing mixing bowls. So the objective for this video was a project for my ceramics 2 class. Basically the requirement was to throw a set of bowls that stacked into one another and there had to be at minimum five bowls. Uh, for this video I'm going to be throwing two sets of mixing bowls and that's just out of choice. Um, I decided I just wanted to throw a second one because I had fun with the first but wasn't quite satisfied. You'll see what I mean later. Uh, but as you can see, I'm starting off by throwing pretty small. Um, I'm pretty sure the first pound or first ball I threw was only a pound, uh, and then the second one was a pound and a half, and that gave me a five-inch bowl and I believe a seven-inch bowl. Um, that was my smallest, smaller sizes because the the oh, another part of the requirement was the largest bowl has to be 13 inches wide. So the reason that's hard is because 13 inches wide. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's a big bowl, um, and so I've never thrown that big. Um, so throwing these two small little tiny bowls was the easy part, definitely the easy part. Um, but then I went ahead and I increased the clay amount, and I believe my increments were off um, because I had increased the clay amount um, by not much, expecting to get more out of the bowl or a bigger bowl when I should have added more clay. Um, for my 13 pound bowl, I'm confident saying I used 13 pounds, which is absurd because I shouldn't have used that much. I probably should have used around 11 pounds. Uh, centering 13 pounds was just absurdly hard. While centering, actually, I was pushing the clay into the center of the wheel, and it just completely flew off the wheel. The entire uh, cone, because I was coning up and down to get the, the clay into the center of the wheel, the entire bat came up from the wheel and uh, fell on the ground, which is kind of crazy, which if you can pause at the right time, that's what you can see inside this time lapse here. Um, me going ahead and picking it back up and then re-centering re it, which is... That's crazy. That's never happened before. Luckily, nothing fell over. No one was hurt. <laughs> um, and then that was the biggest bowl. And you definitely saw that I failed the first one. The first one I ended up um, I ended up trashing it because it was so wobbly and so not put together. I wasn't proud of that bowl, and I needed one that I was proud of. Um, and as you can see here, I got one that I was proud of, and um, I just added a twist. For this first set of mixing bowls, I did want to add something more than just a, a bowl, a simple bowl, a plain bowl. Um, that's why I did a twisted bowl. I did a um, twisted bowl in a past video, um, I believe, and uh, I do like the, the twisted style rimmed. Um, I, I like the altered rim. There's a lot of different things you can do with the rim, and I'm looking to continue to play around with variations to the rim of my bowls, just because I think a simple bowl, like just a, a regular plain bowl is kind of boring uh, and so I found playing around with my options and texture and um, anything like that it, it's fun and I did end up trimming the inside of the big giant bowl because when it's that big it's really hard to get that kind of um, volume or the, how, how big of the bowl you really wanted because um, or the how big of a bowl I actually wanted is because um, you're using so much clay it's likely to collapse and um, it, when you're asking for the clay to move and stretch that much it's hard for it to stay together I, I don't know it's a struggle uh, when you're throwing that big it's a lot harder uh, than just throwing small and then I had I went in ahead and um, I threw in the hot box for a little bit too when it was upside down so I can get it to a leather hard state optimal for trimming I added a spiral to the bottom of the bowl and that was the um, that was the mixing bowl set I had the giant one the 13 inch one I had five or four more besides the big Biggest one, five pound bowl, I think. Uh, I did a three pound bowl. I think I think did a three and a half, two, two and a half, one. I think that was my increments. Uh, I just went up by like a half a pound, and then the last one I went up by like an extra pound, just because you kind of need that for the biggest one because you're gonna end up trimming it off. Um, and I found that the more I throw, the less I have to trim because the more experience I become when throwing. Um, it's something with time and practice. The more you throw, the less you'll have to trim later, and the more you'll be able to control your clay in the wheel. Um, I just like that I don't have to trim if I don't want to, but um, it does look better when it is trimmed. And then, I, which I did trim for all of these. Uh, I didn't add a spiral for these, I just added a swirl on the bottom of the bowl, which I do like, and then these stacked a lot better. Uh, w when they when they sat together, they stacked straight across, which you will see. This super small bowl that I'm throwing here was actually quite weirdly a challenge, because um, the bigger giant bowls, I was so used to throwing so big that the small bowls was a struggle now, like the smallest one was a struggle. Um, I just didn't think I had enough clay to throw the smallest one. But it came out pretty well, and these were all my bowls, and then I had to trim them all, and um, they were looking pretty good and pretty uniform, and all my measurements were looking correct. 
so I'm happy with the way the rim thickness uh, fit together pretty well. They all look unified, and uh, I'm, for the most part, I think they, they look like they fit together and are, are one, um, like one mixing bowl set. Um, I do like them better than, they, they, they fit better than the, the twisted rims, um, the modified rim ones, just because the modified ones are a lot bigger. I do want to tackle this project again because it was a lot of fun throwing all of the bowls different sizes and having to figure out all the equations and how much clay to use and the measurements. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.